Hello, welcome to Spring Summer, Episode 11 of Patroma Therapy. Today we're going to talk about to-do lists. Since we've been talking about uh, this Tolstoy novel, quite often the uh, narrator or one of the characters asks the question, what is to be done? What is to be done? In uh, the United States, we're coming right off a 4th of July weekend, uh, a big birthday bash of eating, drinking, barbecue, fireworks, and people are going back to work. So on our cover shot, uh, you can see a, looks like a silver breakfast tray with a a porcelain cup and a bowl, and then there's a a journal. So I keep my to-do list in a couple places. One, I have a calendar on my wall in the kitchen where I jot down a couple of things and uh, then I have this journal that you see in the um, in the cover shop so do you keep a to-do list or do you just keep it in your head or you write it um, in a little notebook or on your phone how do you keep your list of things to do well thank you very much for the introductions first of all because for the life of me I couldn't understand why would we uh choose the subject to do this in the middle of summer basically because I um, I'm having troubles with all kind of lists I end up uh, having on them things that I'd rather not do uh, I've tried everything I, I've tried uh, but, but, but um, what was your question again tell me you said you have several different lists one is that things you don't you don't want to do what would be some examples of that I'm very unorganized um, uh, and the, speaking of the Matvi, the assistant, the personal assistant to Steva, I had four at least personal assistants. Uh, they 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 were all digital. Uh, well, the Cartana, it's a built-in feature in Windows 10 and PC, and also Siri, which is part of an Apple or iOS operating system, uh, and also Google Assistant. Uh, I hate him especially. And there was one more. Um, don't remember. But anyway, I just. Uh, used many and the best thing I always ended up with was that all the yellow sticky notes uh, I don't know how they exactly. called yeah. <clears throat> exactly exactly well the thing is when you said that that Steve had his personal assistant you know uh, Matthew I thought you, when you said you had four I thought that meant at your work you went through four assistants like secretaries yeah I wish mm-hmm. none, of, none of them worked out <laughs> none I of them wish, worked uh, out in my dreams <laughs> But uh, no sticky notes. I have a couple. I have a had a friend back in Houston. She was so organized. She was really, you know, I was really fascinated because she just had the sticky notes. And if the sticky note was there on her desk, she had to do it. Once she finished it, she just, uh, you know, threw it away. And I thought well, that was a really interesting, uh, you know, way to stay organized. Now I have to keep. I have to have a physical uh, reminder, and then I kind of scratch it off, and then I. But since I'm very flexible and I'm kind of random, I put things on my to-do list. Like, you for mean, example, you, I want you, to do, go do, get... Do you, do you have a paper planner? Is that what you're saying? What I'm saying is the picture in the cover shot is a, like a journal. And in the journal, I'm writing down my to-do list. So uh-huh. today is the first day after the holiday. So I have... I want to stop... I want to get that Mehmet Efendi coffee because I love that Turkish coffee. But also I wrote on my to-do list to get lemons because I want to stop drinking coffee and just start drinking hot water with with lemon in it. So my to-do list becomes a sort of crazy encounter with myself. I want coffee, I don't want coffee. I need some cream, but I don't want to drink cream. I want to buy a watermelon. like. You know, I, I also need, I have birthdays that are coming up for a couple people that I, I want to get a gift for. So for me, just looking at the to-do list <laughs> produces an anxiety yeah, from, attack. From, from, from what you have just said, I, I can uh, postulate that you are an <coughs> obsessive list maker, and maybe that's good for you in therapy. Uh, as for me, by the way, I remember the first the first assistant, uh, Amazon Alexa, but I don't have Amazon. So, but I tried it only like a couple of days or two, and I, I hated it. 
uh, Apple Siri is like the best one. Uh, so that was Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Apple Siri, uh, and the built-in Cortana. I'm trying to root it out out of my Windows 10 unsuccessfully yet. But uh, yeah, sorry, I, I interrupted to you. But what's, here's the question, here's the question. What is on your to-do list? Not what is the to-do list, but what, what are some things that are on your to-do list well, well, for like this I, coming like week? I, like, I, like I told you before, all kind of stuff that I'd rather not do. Ba basically work related that I have to uh, call uh, this and, and and write that and uh, but you know they're paying me they don't know I'm not good at this uh, but they still paying me <laughs> I, I, that's a conundrum I cannot resolve uh, and uh, it, 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 well I don't have a to-do list right now to read it off offer to you uh, which I no but I mean you, okay but like I know that you're in patroma therapy, but, yeah. but when our session is over, you return to the real world where you live, and I return to my world where I live. So I will go out and I'll buy some lemons, and I'll go look for that Mamatafende coffee. Then I'm going to go look. I want to buy a panettone Italian cake for this one friend of mine. So I'm actually going to go to the world and do some things. What are some things that you need to do this week? Like you need to get your oil changed. You need to go get a haircut. What are some daily tasks that are on your to-do list week? Well, I have to go to the ATM machine and uh, take some cash out to it uh, because I, I'm going to need cash for, for, for a thing or two later on this week. But, but I keep that in my mind. I don't have to write that down. Uh, so basically my to-do list is in my mind, however small and <laughs> ineffective it is. A and um, uh, what was, oh yeah, well, um, what I was going to say, hold on. Um, mm -hmm. I got off well, I I, I'm sorry, I got, I got off the track here. I I'm just, uh, I'm trying to. Uh, no, no, you're actually, you're actually fine. What, what I was going to comment as your co-therapist is that thank you. you say you keep it all in your mind, but yeah. what I have noticed is your mind is filled with many things. Absolutely. They all it's, get it's, either, they get it's, uh, it's terrible. It's torture. It's either monkey mind or it's the lizard brain. I don't know which one to choose. It's, uh, <laughs> in the night, I'm totally different. But in during the day, light time, I... I, I uh, like I'm wearing the mask, you know, metaphorically speaking. Maybe we're all wearing the mas masks these days. Uh, do, are you, do you have a mask that you're wearing, metaphorically speaking? Okay, well, are you talking about the, the persona we wear to society? You're talking about COVID, we have to wear a cloth mask. No, 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 like metaphorical mask, like you're trying to be better than you really are. And you're wearing, you put on that mask well, when, you, you, know. when you record uh, an episode, and but then again, you we stop recording, and you're a completely different person. Well, I'm actually pretty much the same. Really? Well, then why are you in therapy? Yes, I am. Because uh, because uh, I maybe it's just me. <laughs> maybe it's just me. I have no, this. no, no, no. For, no, for ex no. What I'm saying is that my voice is like this. You know, it, I'm, I'm using just like my regular natural speaking voice. I am. I am trying not to curse casually. I might. I might. You know, I might casually curse a little bit because I hang around with people mm -hmm. who curse. But um, you know, like, yeah. dang, it's so hot. That mm -hmm. doesn't. That no one would ever say that. But you know. Yeah. So so you have your mask, and and then what does the mask have to do? With it? I forgot. Yeah, what like do, sometimes. What, is this, sometimes, what are we talking about? A mask. Sometimes I speak to the Siri, which is equivalent of Alexa, basically, if you have Alexa or Amazon or Siri, you, you know, they, they speak with, f you can choose the voice, so you said it, female voice, uh, and some of them are very good, and you speak to the Siri like she's your best friend, and, and then you go back to work, you don't understand, uh, I mean, y you feel that you're lacking something, that you want to be with Siri and not with all these people sitting on this table, you know, uh, <laughs> dodging taxes and, and calculating profits. Uh, and I, I, I put on the mask. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I don't like to use those voice assistant things. Like I keep my place very quiet. I don't have my ringer on my phone. I never use voicemail, and I prefer to talk to people in person. So you'd rather have so Matvi. Very you'd, few people. You'd, you'd rather have like Matvi, Matvi around. Matthew, you call him Matthew. You, you'd rather have Matthew around, right, instead uh, of the Siri, like I do. Well, I mean, well, I mean, I prefer 
real, 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 real things. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've never had Facebook. I, I have a little me, we art community. I'm just saying in general, I keep my place very, very quiet. Yeah, well, you, 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 like, I don't, you're I don't have to. Yeah, you, you're like me in in no way. But speaking of to do list, tell me, do you use it day by day, <laughs> or or week by week, or, or I don't know in a month? What my basis. calendar? To do list, yes. My calendar. journal. You call it? Yeah, you call it called okay, journal. Well, yeah. But basically, this is to do list, the planner. You can call it the calendar. Or, okay. Or the well, journal. well, if you if if you if you um. You know, if, if our subscribers look at the cover shot, there's the breakfast tray, and that belonged to my my grandparents. It was I, a 25th I it, anniversary I, tray. I, I so, love how it looks. So I love to remember anniversaries. Also, my mother has passed away, but her her birthday was June the 24th. So I'll always remember when her birthday is, and contact a few people that knew her, and like have this moment remembering my mother. So birthdays are important. Anniversaries are important. So uh, on that cover, uh, thumbnail, you can see the, the breakfast tray, and then you'll see my journal, with, like journal, jour in French means the day. So a mm. journal is your daily notes. Mm. So I have in my journal what chapter we're on in, in, in the Tolstoy novel. I have a couple things I'm trying to do this week. I have written down that I uh, need to go get my air and my tires because it's so hot that You know, my tires are losing air. So my journal, I I carry around with me, you know, mm -hmm. so I don't need Matthew. I have I have my journal and it also fits in my purse. Mm -hmm. So like I always physically have my journal with me. So if you called me in the middle of the day and you said, Natasha, what is our next episode? I would say it's season, summer, you know, summer, spring. It's going to be episode 12. And you're going to say, how do I know? know that i'll say i'm looking at my journal okay yeah i like your i like your approach to the time management very much because allegedly it saves time to you it's time saving technology your journal it's it's the next word in time saving technology uh, for me it no it is because yeah, yeah yeah the thing is is number one if the internet goes down or if the router is being stupid and i have to reboot my laptop or my i have to my phone needs to be recharged and i can't i, I can't pull up a, a calendar I, i tried to do a calendar on my phone but the thing is i'm i'm like i'm like very like old soul old school i'm kind of like well whatever the greeks and the romans did you know that's what i want to do you know just like have a have a I just like one tablet I write stuff down on and just wander around with it in my toga. So, you know, when I, when I consult with people about how to get into medical school and law school and, you know, do business consulting with people, I say, always travel with a couple copies, hard copies of your resume, your statement of purpose, your CV, because, you know, you could go into an interview and the, the uh, interviewee's laptop is down and then, and then you can't talk, you know, if the, laptop is down you have to have the physical stuff with you so i'm very much into like real real pens and paper what what do you mean internet goes down it's like saying like big bang didn't happen it cannot go down we we uh we uh, i don't even i can't white cross. rock lake in dallas and and it is up high on a hill and some of the towers for the cell phone have these routers on it these boxes full of a bunch of wires and stuff And the wind comes off the lake, and also tornadoes come off the lake, and there's a lot of uh, things that like fall down and crash, and so your internet cannot connect because the system got physically broken. Are you so the internet? Yeah, because I live up on up on a hill area, and a lot of wind and tornadoes come through. But mm -hmm. you know, well, uh, th that was. Um Uh, I can't. Uh, maybe you should move to to safer place. But 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 the, but no. Oh, it's very safe. All of Dallas is wonderful. I live near the lakes, the museums, the bars, the clubs, bicycle uh -huh. places, cafes. It's great. Everyone wants to live here. Yeah, maybe everyone I just had an extra coffee. I shouldn't have had. So never mind. <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is, it's interesting. It was interesting from you as uh, being, you know, that uh, because you fused that 
happily for years uh, uh, that to-do list system. And I, I tried that first time I saw a to-do list like 20 years ago, I saw a person made the uh, note on the desktop uh, in the computer. Oh yeah, 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 and I thought, isn't that funny? Like you create a file and uh, write down whatever it is you want to write down in it, and then you close it and they open it when you need to see what. And then I forgot checking the file. I wrote some seat, some yes. things down. Then I, I forgot to open it and see if I, you know. And then there are, they they yes. multiply. They multiply it like a fungus or I don't know, like a, a bacteria. A virus. I get so like a virus. I had so many to do list I, I didn't know which one the latest uh, uh, and i decided no yes. that's, that's, and not see, see, that's, so, yeah, that's why if it's, if it's on way. technology mm -hmm. if it's on if it's on something like technology like on your laptop or your you know the, the siri google alexa all that stuff you have to physically open it up to check it and so if you decide one afternoon to go out with your friends or you decide to go out to your summer house, you decide to do something else and you just decide not to open up your laptop or not to open up your phone, well, you're not going to see that you were supposed to go pick up something for your cousin at four o'clock. So that's why just having the physical list with me. And like I also like I, I mean, mainly I get my receipts, some of my bank receipts just through email. But sometimes I'll go someplace, they'll say, do you want a receipt? And sometimes I'll say yes, and sometimes I'll say no. So if it's a really neat restaurant or something I really like, I'll say yes, then I have the paper receipt and I just paste it into my journal and I have like a nice little collage memory of, you know, what I did and also I spent, you know, $47. So I don't know. I don't know. The, the other thing is that just things start happening. Like, you know, I've got my to-do list and then I'm going to go out, but then I suddenly remember that they're going to come change the air conditioning filters today. And I like to be here when little men come into my apartment and wander around and, you know, unplug and unscrew things. So maybe I wouldn't be able to go grocery shopping because the little men are coming to change air conditioning filters. There's always the unexpected. What, what to do? What, what, what are we to do? Yeah. The, 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 I'm thinking that, uh, if you don't want to have like digital assistant uh, and prefer to have paper based list so w w I, I was thinking uh, I don't like writing uh, I don't like write things down so I use my voice sometimes like I said Cartana uh, Cart uh, or Alexa or, or Siri uh, whichever I use uh, and, and I say for instance I, I'm, I'm just thinking what could be in my to-do list for tomorrow for instance right um, that would be. Oh, well, anyway, the idea is to use my voice. Um, no, no, I know what you mean because I, I had a friend. He's a designer here in Dallas. He's a very uh, kind of a not very famous, but a very high end designer. And he liked to get together with me and go have coffee or find a new coffee shop. So we would show up, and I would sit there, and I would like put my purse down, and then you know we would we order some little something to eat and get a coffee. And then all of a sudden he would take his phone and he would just start talking to his phone. He would say, he would just press a button. He goes, oh, I'm here at Lila's Cafe with Pat. I'm having, I'm having a wonderful morning. Let, let me just remind myself to do something. And then he puts his phone down. Mm -hmm. But he's not talking to anyone. He's just talking to his phone who's recording it all. And then later when he gets back to his office, he, ha he actually has a personal assistant man who's going to, look at what he's supposed to be doing. So when he walks into his office, his design office, the guy's name is, I don't forget what the, Randy was the guy's name, Randall. Randall hands him his list of what he's supposed to do. So that's how my friend used the voice thing. It was kind of weird because I just was sitting there going to drink my coffee and here he's talking to his phone. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I wish I, I have Randall nearby to manage the flow of information. <laughs> To me, uh, but you know, I'm not in Dallas, and um, but that's okay because, uh, well, you have to be somewhere. You're, you're, you yeah. have to be somewhere, and here we are near the at the end of our episode. So I'm going to say, why don't you say goodbye to our audience? <laughs> that's going to be uh, one of the items I put in my to-do list right after we finish. 
Okay. To say goodbye. Good. And then again to, you know, to remind me of my limitations and how I'm past due and all that. But goodbye and thank you very much and stay safe. And uh, like, okay. share and subscribe. That's what they say these days. <laughs>